So having a belly on you as a woman is normal. It's totally normal because we're supposed to carry babies and we have a different type of hormone in our bo- hormones in our bodies. So it's a lot harder for us to keep those abs. And when you see people or girls with abs, they're literally dieting and then not eating 24 hours before that photo shoot or when they're out. And then they're eating like one fucking, okay, let me eat like uh, an egg for protein for this day for the photo shoot and that's it. But like, we're not supposed to have those fucking hardcore body looking things. Like that's not a, that's not a, you can't sustain that achievement all the time. There are people who are genetically blessed. There are people who are, who are highly into working out that can maintain that, but it takes a lot to maintain that. And it's not normal to maintain that. Belly, belly, belly fat on a woman is good. So how the hell do girls get flat stomachs? Very unhealthy ways. <laughs> and you're only seeing them in the right time. When I did shoots, I would, I, I would eat and diet and exercise accordingly to my shoots. Yeah, it's super hard to get a six pack. Super hard. And then you know what I do? I drink, I drink fucking, I would do so much shit to get my stomach flat. And then it, the night before I do shoots where I wanted to look like I had a four pack because I could achieve a four pack, I would drink fucking two glasses of red wine because it dehydrates you. And then you can't drink anything. Not even a sip of water. Not even the, the water that's left in your mouth from brushing your teeth. Because then as soon as I would drink water, it would be all the way gone. <laughs> it would all of a sudden <laughs> come back. <laughs> we hold water weight as girls too. I think you can have a great podcast. Oh, thank you, Deadly Fist. Don't forget that everyone has bad and good times and people don't give the patient in the good time. Oh, Deadly Fist, thank you. Thank you so much, Tess Trissa. I gave up getting a six pack. I enjoy occasional IPAs now. Yes. Yeah, if you drink wine, some, some, some people do. Wine, wine dehydrates you, so alcohol dehydrates you. So it'll get all that extra little bit of water out. But I didn't drink a lot. I drank literally like two little glasses and then I wouldn't drink anything. Can you retelling the story of, tell us the one time you streamed with Adibot, that one gentleman who saved you? Oh, did you far? I know what you're talking about. Hello, Dilly. To be honest, the feminine body is one of the most beautiful things in the world. Thank you. It is. Fuck yeah, ladies in chat. We have one of the most beautiful. Actually, ladies in chat, we do because like men are fucking gaga eyes over girls' bodies. So like we should just congratulate ourselves because fucking guys love anything. Guys love anything. So we are real lucky in that because guys love anything like straight up, straight up. Like the older I get. Like, I, I can't remember the last time I dressed to look good for a guy. Like, I can't remember. I never get dressed to look good for a man. I get dressed to look good to go out, to look good for photos, or to look good with my girlfriends. And I don't look skinny for a man. I want to look skinny so I can look good in a photo or a, something else, but never for a dude, actually. So, like, guys don't give a fuck. Which is great. I'm happy about it. Because dicks, we give a fuck about dicks. I mean, actually, I don't either, actually. I like all dicks. I like all men, too. True, I feel like I need to be a Greek half-god to even impress mediocre-looking women. (laughs) I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. (laughs) But the way you said it, I'm going to (laughs) laugh. Uh, we often shock and surprise ourselves with the shit we're attracted to. I know, I know. You know, it. I, I was watching. Um, I was watching some movie, and this hooker goes and like controls the guy in the situation in the movie. And I was like, God damn, it's so good to be a girl because you can get naked in front of a guy, and they'll just be like, How many men can get naked in front of a girl and us really actually drop our mouths and forget everything else that's going on? Because you can get naked in front of a guy and they will like always be like, oh shit, all right. But it's like, I, it's very rare a guy has done that for me. Yeah, it never, exactly, exactly. (laughs) Exactly, exactly. 
No, you know the thing that the only thing that kind of stops me in my tracks is men in gray sweatpants. Those are the only things that could kind of equate to it. Because I'll be like, mm, let me see if I can see that thing. Walk a little faster. Walk a little wider later. <laughs> Hyper Dragon, I'm going to see it on Thursday. Thank you for the 100 videos. I'm going to see it Thursday morning. Women are the beauty, men are the beast. Exactly. Listen, men, if you're having a hard time getting laid, go chop down a tree, cut some fucking, cut some fucking wood, you know, get a nice little savings in your bank account. Love yourself because women want, want men who can take care of them. So if you can chop some wood and build a fire in the time of need, and you got a little bit of money for a retirement or a sick day, you're good. Just get, you know, that's all you need. I think men just need like, you know, evolution. <laughs> chop, chop, chop down some, chop down some wood. <laughs> Not all of us want huge wangs. Uh... <laughs>